Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check the HLRC Sector 7 V2 HD frame. In this video I'm going to assemble it and go over its features and pretty soon I'm going to feature it in a build video and also review its 5 inch bind and fly version. The HLRC Sector V2 is available in 3 sizes so you can choose between 5, 6 and 7 inch versions and the only difference between the versions is the length of the replaceable arms. The reason the Sector V2 has the word HD in its name is because along with the frame you're getting these 3D printed TPU parts that are going to enable you to mount a DJI Air Unit on the rear side of the quadcopter. Once mounted it's going to look like that and I can already tell you that it's going to be very hard to mount the original antennas that you're getting with the DJI Air Unit and you need to use ones with straight MM6 connectors. In addition you're also getting a 30 degrees action camera mount and also this part which is going to enable you to mount both radio and VTX antennas on its back and supports TBS immortal antennas. Now I'm going to show you how to assemble the frame and I will see you in a bit in order to review its features and specs. As you could see, assembling the frame is very easy, so now let's go over its features and specs. The weight of the 7 inch frame without any 3D printed parts is 117.3 grams. Including the DJI Air Unit 3D printed parts, the total weight is 129.4 grams or 125.9 grams, depending on which antenna connector you are going to use. The weight of the 30 degrees action camera mount is 9.6 grams. And the weight of the VTX and ready receiver antennas mount is 4.5 grams. The wheelbase of this frame is 296 millimeters. The distance between the left motors and the right ones is 230 millimeters. And the distance between the front motors and the back ones is about 200 millimeters. So the Sector V2 frame features a squash X pattern. The thickness of each replaceable arm is 5 millimeters and its width is 10 millimeters. The Sector V2 frame supports 22, 23 and 24 way motors and on the end of each arm you can find an extra carbon part that is going to protect them. The thickness of the bottom, middle and top plates is 2mm and the distance between the middle plate and the top one is 25.2mm. Both on the center and on the rear side of the frame you'll be able to find M3 30.5x30.5 and M2 20x20mm mounting holes. This design is pretty convenient since it's going to allow you to mount your 4-in-1 ESC and flight controller on the center and the VTX on the back or you can stack the VTX on top of the flight controller and then use the extra space in order to mount the stack of an HD recording camera such as the Cadex Tazir. Another nice feature of this frame is that it supports both mini and micro sized FEV cameras. The FEV camera side plates can be positioned in two ways. So if you would like to use micro-sized FV cameras, you will need to position the side plates like that. And if you would like to use mini-sized cameras, you will need to position it in this manner. In addition, you can also flip the side plates horizontally, so you can choose between two mounting holes for the FV camera. Now by the way, along with the frame, you are getting a battery anti-slip tape, which is designed for the top plate. But of course, if you'd like, you can also mount the battery on the bottom. So overall, priced at around $40, I think that the HRC Sector V2 HD frame will provide you with a good value for money considering its features and the included 3D printed TPU parts, which by the way are also included when buying this frame for Banggood, even though the description doesn't state it. 
As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I'm going to feature the Secto V2 frame in two separate videos, on one where I'm going to test the 5 inch bind and fly version, and on the second one where I'm going to finally build my first DJI Air Unit equipped drone, so stay tuned. As always, I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions about this frame, feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video, and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you in my next videos, and goodbye.